Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with the uh, design of wastewater engineering in the topic of screens. So the problem is estimate the screen requirement for the plant treating a peak flow of 60 million liters per day of sewage. Okay, so the only given is 60 million per day is of sewage. So we have to find out the screen requirement. So the dimension of screen and also the head loss of a screen. Okay, so now the solution. So the peak flow equal to sixty million liters per day. So we have to convert into meter cube per second. So now sixty million sixty into ten power six. So divided by so we have to convert into liter into m cube so 10 power 3 into so the 1 m cube equal to 1000 liters okay so into the day is converted into seconds so 24 hours into 60 minutes into 60 seconds okay so now the we got the value of uh, 0 0.694 m cube per second okay so this is a big discharge of q okay so after that we have to assume the velocity so assume assume the velocity through the screen at peak flow So we can assume is uh, 0 0.8 meter per second. Okay. So now uh, we have to find out the net area. So net area. So we know the relationship Q is equal to A into V area into velocity. So now we know we have to know the area. So A equal to Q divided by V. So Q we know. 0 0.694 m cube per second divided by uh, the velocity is 0 0.8 meter per second okay second second will be cancelled 1 meter 1 meter will be cancelled so we got the value of uh, 0 0.87 meter square so this is the cross sectional area okay so now uh, we have to the area is a uh, uh, net area of the opening so the only opening area for example you can take this uh, screen some bar screen so there are uh, four bars are there so these are all bars so these are all openings okay so there is five openings for example let me say the one two three four five one two three four five five openings are there there are four bars are there so in this diagram there is five openings so we uh, the 0 0.87 is only the area of opening okay so this is not the total area of screen okay so now we assume the rectangle bars having the clear spacing as well as uh, the bar diameter so now assume now assume clear spacing equal to 5 cm that is 0 0.05 mm sorry uh, 0 0.05 meter so then the diameter of the bar or size of bar so size of bar equal to we can take 1 centimeter that is 0 0.01 meter okay so now uh, we have to know the total area of the screen okay so we can assume depth equal to 1 meter okay so now assume we depth of 1 meter and width of water with the water also we can take 1 meter okay so from that we can uh, find out the total width 
depth we know the depth we can assume 1 meter and the total width is uh, we have to know and the length we have to find out so after the length and width we can easily know the area of the screen okay so now net width of screen so net width of screen equal to now net area divided by depth so net area is 0 0.87 divided by depth is 1 meter so it's equal to with equal to 0 0.87 meter okay so now uh, we have to find out the number of openings so this is the net width of opening so okay so from that uh, we have to find out the number of opening okay so now number of openings equal to so net width divided by clear spacing okay so net width is uh, 0 0.87 meter divided by the clear spacing is 0 0.05 uh, that is uh, we assume that so the total uh, number of opening is 17.4 we can take 18 opening okay so totally we have 18 openings are there okay so from that uh, we have to know the total number of bars so number of bars is 1 minus of opening so 18 minus 1 equal to 17 number of bars so number of bars is 17 uh, because uh, so from that uh, we we know so 1 2 3 4 5 openings are there and only 4 bars are there so the number of openings minus 1 equal to number of bars okay so after that uh, we know the end bars also okay so 1 2 3 4 bars are there and end bars so this is a end bar so there are two end bars are there so we can take end bars equal to 2 so now the total bars equal to 19 okay so there are 19 number of bars in the inside we have 17 number of bars and in the at the end of screen we have two bars so the totally 19 bars available okay so now uh, we have to know the gross width So growth without screen, so that is a screen entire width. So from that uh, we know only the opening width is uh, available and we know the uh, diameter of the bars. Okay. So now we can take number of uh, openings into clear spacing. So number of opening and clear spacing we can uh, came to know the opening area again plus we have to know the number of bars into die of bars okay so from the from the relationship we can get the uh, gross width of the screen okay so number of openings is 18 into spacing is 0 0.05 meter okay again plus number of bars is 19 into the diameter 0 0.01 meter okay solving this we got the value of 1.09 meter okay so this is the gross width width of the screen okay so again uh, we have to know the length of screen so in the length the, there is a screen uh, the depth is 1 meter okay so but the screen is inclined at at 60 degree with horizontal okay so now the screen is not vertical it will 60 degree with horizontal okay so we know the depth is 1 meter so we have to know the length okay so we have to know the length of screen so now we can take sine 60 degree equal to opposite side 1 meter divided by hypotenuse is length okay so now length 
equal to 1 divided by sin 60 degree. So now the value is uh, 1 by sin 20 is uh, sin 60 is uh, 2 divided by root 3. Okay, so this is the length. Okay, now length equal to 2 by root 3 that is 1.15 meter. Okay, so now we know the length also. Okay, so width and length uh, we can find out. Now the area total gross area of screen equal to so width 1.09 into length is 1.15 so totally 1.2 meter squared so this is the area so now we have to know the head loss head loss of the screen so the velocity through the screen is Velocity through the screen is 0 0.8 meter per second. So that is uh, we assumed the earlier. Okay, then velocity above the screen. Velocity before the screen equal to so 0 0.8 into 5 by 6. Okay, so how we can know the 5 by 6 because so the total q1 equal to q2 that is uh, velocity uh, through the screen and velocity through uh, above the above the or uh, velocity before the screen okay so from that uh, we know uh, v into w1 equal to v into w2 okay so uh, w is a uh, width so here w is a uh, width so this is a gross with uh, with the with clear spacing and uh, this is gross with uh, opening plus thickness of the screen okay so see thickness of the bar okay so now uh, the top the this v is uh, 0 0.8 into so the width is uh, 5 okay so 5 centi 5 centimeter then w width is uh, with the clear spacing is only the 5 and uh, we have uh, 1 centimeter of thickness so now the w2 will come here so a6 equal to v okay so this small v is a uh, uh, velocity before the screen so that's why we put 0 0.8 into 5 divided by 6 okay so now this is continuity equation so we know the continuity equation so this is the continuity equation okay so now we can substitute uh, so this is the answer is 0 0.67 meter per second okay so now we know the formula uh, head loss head loss equal to 0 0.0729 into capital V square minus small v square. So this is capital V and this one is small v. Okay. So now we can substitute all the values. So 0 0.0729 into 0 0.8 square minus 0 0.67 square. So now we got the value of 0 0.0134 meter. Okay. So this is the head loss. Okay, so now uh, we know the sewage or screen is clogged half. Okay, if case the screen is uh, uh, clogged half, the velocity will be doubled 0 0.8 into 2. So now 1.6 meter per second. Okay. So now the head loss we can substitute uh, the head loss so, so h is equal to 0 0.0729 into the v is 1.6 square minus 0 0.67 square so we call the value of 0 0.1538 okay so this is the maximum value this is minimum value so if case uh, the sewage will be clogged half so the head loss will be more. So this shows that when the screen are totally clean, the head loss is negligible that is 0 0.0134. Then the head loss uh, shoots up to 15 centimeter uh, when the sewage uh, screen is clogged half. Okay. So now uh, we came to know that the screen should therefore uh, be cleaned frequently as keep the 
head loss within the allowable limit okay so we have to clean regularly so to avoid the head loss okay so this is the method we can solve the uh, screen uh, design of screen so again we will see next video thank you